assalamu alaikum may june 2018 paper 1 variant 1 question number 11 the same question also appeared in may june 2018 paper 1 variant 2 and there it was question number 2 forces of 4 newton and 2 newton act at a point which scale diagram shows the forces that have a resultant of 4 Newton? Okay, so if you look at these options, option D can be easily eliminated because in option D the vectors are anti parallel. So in this case, the resultant vector will be 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 Newton. So option D is eliminated. Now we have to check options A, B and C. It is stated in the question that it is a scale diagram. It means that the length of the vectors represent their magnitude. So what we will do to measure the 4 Newton force, to measure the length of this vector representing 4 Newton. On my screen it is 2.5 centimeter. Remember that this length is on my screen. When you will measure it on the paper, it will be different. So here in this case, it is 2.5 centimeter. Now, using parallelogram rule, we can draw the resultant vectors. In case of option A, the resultant vector would be this. In case of option B, it would be like this. In case of option C, it would be like this. Now we will measure the length of these resultant vectors using the scale. It is greater than 2.5. So option C is not the answer. Option C can also be eliminated using the fact that this is a right angle triangle and the, our resultant vector is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. And we know that in a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse the length of the hypotenuse is the greatest. So clearly the length of this resultant vector would be greater than 2 Newton and will be greater than 4 Newton. Now let's check option A. In case of option A, it is 3.4 centimeter which is greater than 2.5 centimeter. So A is also not our answer. Now we are left with option B. Let's check that as well. In case of option B, it is exactly 2.5 centimeter, which represents 4 Newton. So our answer is option B.